Prime on Youth Day. Now, despite assurances, tensions remain between the UDM and the DA in the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. UDM leader Bantu Holomisa says that the coalition government's problems have been resolved, but DA provincial leader Ngaba Banga rejects this notion. Holomisa was in Port Elizabeth for a Youth Day event. A rocky coalition government from the onset. The key characters in the impasse, Executive Mayor Athol Trollip and his deputy, Mongameli Mobani. The UDM leader says the hatchet has been buried. Mobani and uh, Trollip were told by the leadership of the coalition that this project is bigger than the two of them. They must go back and work together. They both agreed. That is why we have approved the budget. Mobani agrees that his working relationship with Trollip is now healthy. It's healthy because I'm the deputy executive mayor. He's the executive mayor. What more do you want? We're working. I'm here now with UTM president telling the residents uh, about the UTM position with regard, with regard even to the coalition. So we're working together. In contrast, the DA is still concerned about Bobani as the deputy mayor. The party wants Holomisa to take action against him. It, it concerns me the fact that uh, the deputy mayor continue to vote against the college and government and vote for the ANC. Uh, it can't sit to me very well that we want to stabilize the city and uh, removed everything wrong that the ANC have done in the city. That the deputy mayor of the of our college continue to support the ANC taking down the city. Mm. I have raised it uh, with the federal leadership of the party that we can't continue like this it appears the committee set up to resolve these matters still has unfinished work while politicians wrangle residents are waiting for improved services mkokeli bandla sabc news port elizabeth